Apple announces the iPhone 5, Motorola teases Intel with their next event, and the Windows Phone marketplace loses its name. I'm Jaime Rivera, waiting for the iPhone 6 rumors to begin, and this is Pocket Now Daily. That's right, Apple has just announced the iPhone 5 with a new design that's taller, thinner, lighter, and faster with the new A6 processor and 4G LTE. Sadly, the only bad news is that you'll be getting iOS 6 completely untouched. Now call this Apple's worst kept secret as the design looks exactly like the leaks that we've seen months ago. But well, launch date is on September 21st with pre-orders starting tomorrow. iOS 6 launches on September 19th. I guess the only surprise yesterday was Apple's new iPod lineup, which features a new iPod Touch that has all the design elements that we were waiting for the iPhone 5. This new iPod Touch has every new feature that the iPhone 5 brings, obviously with a thinner chassis and no cell phone radio. The device will be launching on October along with a new iPod Nano that's just begging for a lawsuit because it looks exactly like the Lumia 800. In non-Apple news, Motorola has just teased an event for September 18th along with Intel, where we hope to be getting the Droid Razor M variant that we leaked ever since February. Running on an Intel processor though, we don't know details. Now it's just interesting to see this image from the leak ever since February and see that the Droid Razor M design was final ever since then. And another non-Apple news, Microsoft has just changed the name of the Windows Phone Marketplace to call it the Windows Phone Store, as if everything wasn't already called Windows over at Redmond and set for the bathrooms. Now, there are no clear enhancements with this new store. All we know is that it'll be launching along with Windows Phone 8, but you guessed it, not even Microsoft knows that launch date. And finally, well, I guess my predictions on the iPhone 5 went completely wrong since the leaks were real. So yes, I do owe a couple of friends some beer. But since a lot of people have asked me what I think about the device, I'll start by telling you that I do like the design. I feel the 4-inch form factor is the sweet spot at times when jumbo phones are the mainstream. But I'm just disappointed on the bottom of the device and also on the fact that it runs iOS 6. But that leads me to the question of the day. What do you think about the iPhone 5? Are you going to buy it and in what color? Leave us a comment down below. And if you want to know what we want for the iPhone 5, make sure you follow our next Pocket Now Weekly, where we're going to be talking about what we think about the iPhone 5 and which color are we getting. Now, if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching.